Got a terrific fan question of the day from Jamie the Comic saying, do you believe there will always be a place for the likes of Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation hardware, or will everyone eventually move to a Steam or Netflix-like service? That is a fantastic question, and I think, um, I had, you know, obviously I think about this all the time because I feel like if developers just had one sort of system to develop for, you know, like the PC kind of showcases, uh, you can actually get some really creative software and developers aren't splitting their focus on ports and coming up with different ways to designate what's different about their software here as opposed to here. But I think that everybody has gotten into a very good um, habit of just being able to uh, plug in their Nintendo Xbox or PlayStation system and be entertained by that. And I don't know if we're always going to have this sort of locked off, um, you know, access to the software that they provide. I feel like Xbox is really showing us that you can play their games anywhere with uh, their, their PC compatibility. Sony's been doing a lot of the same things. And I think Nintendo's even dipping their toe into the water with some of the mobile stuff that they're doing. So I think that that it's a bit of both. I think there will be hardware developed by these companies and maybe somewhere down the line there is some consolidation and some partnerships so that there are fewer brands out there. It's a good question and I think it's a it's got a kind of a complicated messy response because obviously these silos are very important not just for these companies but for the fans that support them. Very good question. If you've got one for us don't hesitate to ask because we answer them every day.